today I'm gonna show you how to apply smooth stucco. First, come on, follow me. First, you get your first coat on the wall, similar to how he's doing it here. Get your first coat on there. And what happens on a big wall like this, you wanna have a guy on top, one guy on the bottom. That way, you won't get a joint down the middle. You just kinda apply it around the face. Now that doesn't have to be smooth right away. This is your first coat. You're gonna, to get your smooth coat, you need to need two coats. Probably. Make sure you wet your wall, so that way it's not drying up on you. So as you're getting your first coat on there, it doesn't have to be smooth. Uh, like I was saying, you just have to act as a leveling coat. You want to get it all on there. Now, after this first coat's on there, you want to come back and you want to float it all out. Knock down any high spots, knock down any low spots. That way it's all nice and even before you do your second coat. First coat on here. We got the first coat floated out, but well, we can't double coat it. You got to give it a, at least about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the weather, so it can cure up a little bit. It can take up because it, it's still a little wet. So in the meantime, we're gonna go around this wall here and start doing the first coat here. Do the first coat, float that out, and after we're done with this one, we'll jump back and start double coating that. First of all, that we started. Now we're gonna apply the second coat. This coat goes on thin and evenly. So you don't wanna leave too much mud behind. You kinda wanna prowl it and bring all the mud with you as you go along. That way it's all nice and even. You kinda see it, you do the top and the bottom at the same time. Keep that joint from being noticed. Now, this is the tricky part, the trickiest part of smooth finish. This one actually takes a little bit of craftsmanship, a little bit of experience uh, to get it right. So you got your first coat on there, you floated that, you got your second coat applied. Now, what you have to do is prowl your wall till it's nice and smooth. You can add a little bit of water with the water pump, just like he's doing there. You kind of go back and forth, back and forth, till you get a smooth surface. You want to keep doing this until your wall is dry. So you hit it one time, make it all nice and smooth. Go work on another part of the wall. Wait for this to dry, then come right back to it and keep crawling it so it's all nice and smooth. And that's the reason why uh, smooth stucco is a little more expensive than traditional stucco or conventional stucco because it takes a lot more work, a lot more crawling. Another tip is you want to use your, the right trowels. All of these trowels are all stainless steel. You don't want to do anything that's going to rust. Put a little bit of yellow on your wall because anything that stains your wall is going to stay there forever. There's no, unless you paint the wall.
when you're finished, this is what your watch should look like. You should be able to run your hand on it and it should feel smooth. That's why they call it a smooth finish.